Public servants are threatening to strike next month after the Newman government flagged even more job losses, this time at Queensland Rail. The Transport Minister refused to reveal how many jobs will be axed or whether the cuts will be confined to office staff. Scott Emerson says Queensland Rail has excess baggage in head office. We've seen remarkable increases in terms of expending and staff in those areas, up to 122% increase. So he's ordered costs to be cut. When I first said to Queensland Rail, find some savings, their suggestion to me was to axe guards on trains. I said, no, that's not acceptable. The minister maintains he wants corporate staff to go, but as for a guarantee... Well, give me an job losses outside of head office? Well, it's a simple question. I'm waiting for Queensland Rail to come back, and I've given them very clear directions. Mr Emerson won't reveal whether those very clear directions contain the number of jobs to be axed. So will 2,000 people lose their jobs? Um, I'm waiting for Queensland Rail to come back to me now with those savings. What is your target? You I, sure you have a target? I've told them... So you don't have a target? I've told them, find the savings that they can make. No one believes the Transport Minister when he says he does not know how many jobs are going in Queensland Rail. I am fearful that safety and security will be compromised. Campbell Newman has confirmed about 3,000 government workers lost their jobs on Friday. And with more cuts to come, unions are planning a mass rally on Monday week. They're now threatening to strike. There will be industrial action being voted on by members in the coming weeks. That's likely to be occurring uh, in, in late August to early September. A workplace battle that's becoming a war. Michael Best, 7 News.